Hello Tactical, hi friends, it's Ross from Tactical Performance Center here and today we'll touch a topic that uh, it's quite controversial these days. What is more important, grip or trigger control when you're shooting a handgun? Well, the answer is depends, depends what your mission is. When you're talking about bullseye shooting, obviously the trigger control is a uh, better priority. Why? First of all, that accuracy, it's all about that trigger control, how well you pull that trigger. There are two core principles that we're teaching in TPC. Only trigger moves and then the direction of the actual press. What we define on actual trigger press, each gun, regardless of the trigger system, can be a striker fire, or it can be a single double action on the single action only. It has a pre-travel or a slug that just the travel of the trigger that nothing happens with the gun. The trigger doesn't go click or the gun do not fire. At some point you'll feel uh, the trigger is becoming heavy and we actually reaching the wall of the trigger. If you apply more pressure, the shot will happen. We call that the actual press. From the moment that you prepare that trigger to the wall to the actual press or pull when the gun fires, that we consider an actual press. So, two principles, only trigger finger moves and then straight back pull from that point of the actual press towards the shot on when the shot is fired. If you follow these two principles, you'll have a zero problems with your accuracy if you don't change nothing else. So bullseye shooting or very precise shooting, when you have a single shot, when you don't have a follow-up shots, trigger control, it's the priority. Now, in order to actually uh, back up our uh, statement, let's have an experiment here. All right, and it's experiment time. I'm on the shooting line. I have a BC target, steel target, at uh, 80 yards away, and my goal is one single accurate shot, bullseye shooting. I will shoot without a grip. So basically, I will hold the gun only on the trigger. Don't try that at home. It's not safe, but it's for demonstration purposes. Only on the finger, isolation, and I will pull the trigger, only trigger finger moves straight back. zero grip. It's all about the proper trigger pull. Only finger moves straight back. So as you can see, when you are planning to be really accurate, even in long distance with a handgun, if you have a single shot though, trigger control is all that is matters, even without the grip. But when you're planning to have a serious, a string of multiple shots, in a relatively rapid manner, grip importance is about 90%. Right? It's very important to make that gun to recover back to sight alignment. Now, there's a contribution of the stance as well to return that sight alignment to the same point of aim. But uh, again, if you need to create a string of multiple shots, even if the distance is not so close, Still, the grip is more important. Obviously, the trigger control, it's a, it's a factor in order to release that shot without messing up that uh, sight picture. But grip is everything that will return that gun back to that same very repeatable sight picture. Experiment time again. We have a full size, like a metric target. It's a steel target again. That's approximately 35 yards away-ish. Now we'll shoot, uh, we'll fire multiple shots. I will emphasize the importance of a very consistent but passive grip and passive stance that will guarantee returning of the gun and the same sight picture. The moment that I see my sights back on the target, I will immediately will pull the trigger and fire the next shot. All right, it's action time. As you can see, if you want to create uh, multiple shots, 
in a relatively rapid manner. Again, the distance is not such a factor. If you want that gun to return snap back to the same point of aim, grip is huge. So, what's the practical application of what is more important? Grip versus trigger control. The founder of TPC, Ron Avery, together with Dr. Bill Lewinsky from the Institute of Force Science, conducted an experiment to find what's happened with uh, normal people under stress when they're handling a fi uh, firearm and when their life is put in danger. So basically, they used a totally unexperienced uh, college students, but they found out, regardless of how proficient the shooter is, if their life is in danger, they shoot really fast, about one shot every quarter of a second. We call that the gunfight speed. And more or less subconsciously, you will fire in that rate of fire in close range gunfights if, again, you're in danger. Now we need to learn how to control the gun and actually pre to preserve the accuracy under that speed. And this is where grip it's super important. Even if you have a perfect trigger control, you're not going to be able to be accurate at that speed and you can put somebody else's life in danger because you miss a lot of the shots. Combat speed, grip, it's essential. All right, so San Diego, stay classy. We are together with uh, Tactical Hive here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our content, if you want to see some of the TPC tips more on that channel.